Hi, I am Shine from the Math Company and you are watching Jigsaw Academy's Expert Speak series. And today, I would like to share my experience of working in this field of analytics for the last two decades. As you know, a very important ingredient of this whole um, genre of work is a talent. Now, a question all, you know, often gets asked that what constitutes a great data scientist? In order to answer that question, let us understand the analytics life cycle. It all starts with a business performance issue, right? Either we are lagging behind or we are not able to meet it. It always starts from there. We have a decision maker who needs to make a decision who translates that business issue into a business questions. Then you have sort of translators who translates these business questions into analytics plan or analytics questions. Now comes the role of a data scientist who typically plans and executes on that particular questions and come up with a solution. The translator comes back into the picture, takes those solutions, convert them into more business insights that finally helps the decision maker to make a decision. This completes the whole analytics life cycle. A data scientist predominant responsibility therefore is to take an analytics problem or analytics question and convert that into a solution. What does it take? It takes an ability to smartly work with data and generate good insights. Now this requires a thorough knowledge of the underlying technology. A lot of technology that deals with data allows you to work with it. It, it needs a good understanding of mathematics or statistics that are absolutely essential to work with it. Now that's what we understand as a good data scientist. But in today's world, there are enough self-serve tools and other platforms that allows to do a lot of these with the touch of a button. So then what does differentiate a great data scientist from a good one? The mark of a great data scientist is that along with the ability to deal with data smartly, you know, get out good insights, they also work with a view into the translation of business problems into analytical problems. They would have a view into the whole analytics and business life cycle so that they understand the decision making process. It is then that a so-called good data scientist transforms to be a great data scientist with a full view of the cycle. Let's analyze a scenario to make this real. An insurance business manager is observing a decline in their renewal rates over a period of time. He would talk to his analytics manager to find a solution to it. The analytics manager realizes that one needs to understand the reason behind this customer churn and create kind of an at-risk model. It is at this stage that it gets handed over to a data scientist who is supposed to figure out how to leverage the existing information, use the right technology, use the right tools and algorithms to come up with a great model. Now, what does a great data scientist do in this scenario? A great data scientist will start looking for additional sources of information, maybe public information like the social media, trying to understand what really is driving customer sentiments towards that particular brand or towards that particular product. A great data scientist will start looking into the insights that comes out from that model will try and understand, can I explain this to the business manager well, instead of just focusing on the predictability of the model. The great data scientist will also start looking into other problems in the adjacency. For example, they will start understanding that the way a communication goes out to a customers for their renewal, is it going through a right channel? Is there a mismatch between the two? Which is very different from the problem that they started with. This is just a few examples of what makes a great data scientist and not just a good one. Thank you.